Today's lecture, I will tell you about the teleology in philosophy. So here is the outline of today's lecture. I will tell you about what is teleology, its historical background, teleological concepts, teleological argument and conclusion. So let's start it. What is teleology? Teleology is derived from Greek word telos which means end and logos which means reason. In philosophy, teleology is the study of purpose, the purpose of existence. To understand it better, we have to understand its historical background. Teleology basically related with metaphysics. So what is metaphysics? Metaphysics is the branch of philosophy that studies the fundamental nature of reality. Meta means beyond of physics, beyond the existence, which is further divided into ontology, in which we study what is real. Ontology is further divided into four parts, idealism, realism, materialism, and teleology. Idealism is metaphysical view that associated reality to re ideas in the mind rather than the material object. Second is realism. Realism philosophy is the view that an object or thing really exists and has certain attributes, independently of what people think about it. On the other words, realism is the view that an object or thing has mind independent reality. Third is materialism. In philosophy, materialism states that everything that truly really exists is matter. Everything is material. Thus, all phenomena we see are a result of material interactions. Teleology in ontology refers to the study of purpose or goal of existence. It examines the idea that object event or phenomena have an inherent design or purpose that guides their behavior or development. Teleology suggests that the nature of a thing can be understood by examining its end or final cause. In ontology, teleological argument explore the notion that the structure and organization of the world imply the existence of a purposeful and intentional creator. The relationship between purpose and existence can be understood in the following manner. First is the purpose driving existence. The teleological perspective argues that objects or being exist with a specific purpose or in in mind. For example, a bird exists to fly. Second is existential purpose. Existential philosophers such as Jean Paul Sartre emphasize the individual freedom to create their own purpose in life. They argue that the existence precedes essence, meaning that the individual exists first and then define their purpose through their choices and actions. Third is human construct. Some philosophical perspectives suggest that the purpose is a human construct or subjective attribution. From this viewpoint, existing itself may not inherently possess a purpose, but human assign and create purpose based on their values, beliefs, and desires. Now, we have teleological concepts. To understand the teleology, we have to understand the different approaches or different philosophers and their theories on the teleology and how they perceive the teleology and ontology in the basis of existence. First we have Plato. Plato was an ancient Greek philosopher who lived during the 428 to 348 BC. He is famous for the philosophy of theory of form and he explained that the form are the basis of reality that exists beyond them. In his philosophy, 
the concept of teleology is related with the theory of form according to plato teleology refers to the idea that everything existent has a purpose or goal he believed that the world of a form is ultimate reality and the physical object in the world are mere in perfect copies of reflections of these perfect in internal forms the plato's philosophy the ultimate purpose or goal of all things is to achieve their highest form of perception for example the purpose of seed is to grow into a full grown plant or the purpose of human soul is to pursue virtue and wisdom plato used various allegories and dialogues to provide evidence to his concept of teleology one of the famous example is the allegory of care in his work the republic in this allegory plato illustrates that the human can be trapped in a world of ignorance perceiving only shadows on the wall of cave the purpose of education and philosophical inquiry according to plato is to guide individual out of the darkness of ignorance and toward the light of truth and knowledge another example of plato's theory of forms itself plato argued that the physical object are imperfect and constantly changing while the form of perfect and changing ain't eternal the purpose of studying philosophy and contemplating the form is to strive the higher understanding of the truth and reality and now we have another philosopher aristotle aristotle was a greek philosopher who lived 384 322 bce he is considered one of the most influential figure in the western philosophy aristotle was a student of plato and a teacher of alexander the great His works cover the various fields such as metaphysics, ethics, logic, politics, and biology. Aristotle's approach to philosophy often involved careful observation in the natural world and drawing general principles from their observation. His emphasis on the teleology along with his first contribution to various branches of philosophy. He made him a significant figure in the history of thought. To understand the telos or the purpose of existence he gave the four causes first material cause the material cause refers to the substance of material from which object is made for example the material cause of dining table would be the wood metal or a glass or any other suitable material used in the construction second is formal cause the formal cause pertain to design structure or a form of an object and the in this case the dining table the formal structure include the shape size height style and overall appearance the formal cause identifies the essential characteristic that can distinguish a dining table from other type of furniture is efficient cause the efficient cause is concerned with the agent or process that brings an object into existence or cause it to change in this context the efficient cause of dining table would be the team or the carpenter who develop and manufactured it they were responsible for materializing the design concept into a tangible object final cause refers to the purpose intention goal for which an object exist is made in this case the dining table the final cause is primarily to provide the surface for people to gathering around and have meal together it serves a functional piece of furniture in home and restaurants we have an other philosopher thomas aquinas Thomas Aquinas lived during the 1225 to 1274. He was a renowned philosopher, theologian who lived in 13th century. He developed a philosophical system called Thomism. 
which aimed to reconcile the teaching of Aristotle with Christian theology. According to him, everything in the world has a final cause or purpose that directs its behavior. Aquinas argued that the existence of teleology in the natural world provides evidence for the existence of knowledge as the ultimate cause and designer for everything. For example, he pointed to the human eye as the evidence of teleology. He argued that its complex structure and ability to perceive light and color suggest that it has a purpose. Namely, it facilitates vision. He saw such examples as manifestation of the inherent order in design in nature. Immanuel Kant He was an influential German philosopher who lived from 724 to 1804. He is primarily known for his work in epistemology and metaphysics. He said that the human based attribution of purpose rather than the objective reality. So what he basically talk about. Immanuel Kant's teleology approached that the concept of teleology from different perspectives. He acknowledged that the teleological explanation can be useful in understanding the natural world. But he also argued that the teleology is based on subjective judgment and it is not objectively verifiable. He distinguished between external teleology and internal teleology. External teleology refers to the idea that nature design is determined by external designer or purpose. However, Kant rejected external teleology stating that humans impose their own purpose onto nature. On the other hand, internal teleology explained the idea of organism his innate purpose within themselves. For example, according to Kant, human might perceive a flower as having the purpose of being beautiful. However, he said that the sense of beauty is purely subjective and does not reflect an inherent purpose in flower. Now we have another concept related with teleology. What is teleological argument? Teleological argument suggests that the existence of knowledge and in its intricate structure within our universe implies the existence of an intelligent creator. Teleological argument, especially in the context of existence of knowledge from an ontological perspective, is a philosophical argument that suggests that the presence of a purpose or a design in the universe based on our order and complexity found in the phenomena of knowledge and understanding. In this perspective, proponents of the teleological argument often argue that the existence of knowledge implies the existence of the deliberate. Intelligent creator or a designer, they contain the intricate and systemic nature of the human knowledge, including its rationality, coherence and ability to comprehend the world, cannot be adequately explained by chance or natural process. On the other hand, some philosophers like Immanuel Kant, David Hume and other evolutionary philosophers do not believe in this concept. They believe in the subjectivity rather than this concept. In the conclusion, it is important to note that the teleology in the context of knowledge can be subjective and dependent on individual perspective and cultural context. Different people or society may have varying theological views on the purpose and course of knowledge. So here we end our today's lecture. Thank you.